Red Dead Redemption is almost out and gamers across the world can barely hold in their excitement. Some are excited for the graphics, some are excited for the story, some for the online play, and I'm excited for all that too. But one thing that I'm really looking forward to is the wildlife and the hunting. Rockstar Games has been releasing a bunch of media before the release of Red Dead Redemption 2 on October 26. They recently released their latest gameplay trailer and it looks amazingly stunning, but I'm not here to talk about that. One thing that really has me excited is the wildlife in Red Dead Redemption 2 and the opportunity to hunt the f*** out of them. And I've never even been hunting. I'm a huge animal lover in real life. Shit, I have four cats because they're just too damn cute. But I remember many hours spent tracking bears on the snowy peaks in the first Red Dead Redemption. It felt pretty epic and I had a blast. Recently Rockstar announced details related to the wildlife we will encounter in Red Dead Redemption 2. According to Rockstar there will be around 200 animals, birds and fish in the game. They all live and respond to their environment in a unique way. Deer, bison and pronghorns traverse the plains in large herds. Scavengers quickly sniff out the cane flesh of animals. Sockeye salmon leap upstream. Wolves attack in packs around in its prey. Geese fly in fixed formations. Possums play dead. Rodents scamper into tree hollows. Grizzly bears bluff charge when threatened. And birds of prey soar on an upward current of warm air. And when it comes to fishing, it won't be as simple as pressing the A button. You'll have to select the correct bait if you want to be successful. Fish variety will be huge and you can find different fish variety depending if you're fishing in rivers, lakes, or streams. Hunting also sounds a little tricky. Again, wind direction will alert what you're hunting and if you're spotted you can quickly become the prey. Hunting will take patience and focus. The choice of weapon used and the placement of your shot has a big impact on the quality of the meat and pelt. Do a sloppy job and it will affect the price traders will be willing to pay. If you don't want to sell your goods to the butcher in town, you can always just live off the land. You can take back your kill to your camp and make some stew, craft some clothes or weapons. I'm personally excited to craft different outfits using animal skins and fur. Obviously I want to craft a grizzly setup, especially when I'm traveling up any snowy peaks, but I also want an outfit for the swamplands. I'm thinking an alligator suit would be fitting. What I'm really hoping is that you can craft clothes from any animal in the game. Because if we can, I'll finally be able to dress myself up in a cat outfit from head to toe. And nobody can tell me boo over it. It would be a cherry on top if I could also have a tail too. 